Okay, downloading and installing uh, Pivot 5.1.5, you go to pivotanimator.net, you go to download, and, um, and then you'll see here's the stable version 4.2.8. That's the safest version if you're working on a big project and you just want to make sure there are no issues. But if you want to play with the, the newest and the greatest, um, you're going to want to go to the beta version. Oh, I'm sorry, which is on the home page. <laughs> it's not here, obviously, in the downloads yet. Um, but you can see right here, here's the download page link from Pivot Animator, which I think is a special page just for the version 5, which I just figured out like just now. So there it is, download V5. OK, and here it is. It has a user guide, even as a video. It shows you your system requirements. You need at least Windows 7. I'm doing this on Windows 10. There are so many new features that I'm going to slowly dive into over this semester. But I'm going to go ahead and click on this big download button. And I'm going to save it into my downloads, Pivot Download Manager. And it's very small, and it only takes a couple seconds. And then I'm going to click on that. Um, it should be in your downloads. You can either double click on it. And then we're going to get this message. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes, please. Because it's going to change my device by adding this program. I'm going to select English. OK, this will install Pivot Animator. Click Next. OK, now this is where it says, hey, if you keep clicking Accept All, you're going to take all this other, like an antivirus software which might even tell you that this is a virus. It's not. I'm going to say, um, when you click Accept, you agree to the installation of RevVirus. You can decline or you can skip all. So I can actually skip all the other things that I don't want. I'm going to skip them all. And then it's going to download and optimize for Pivot and not install anything else. And then I'm just going to wait as it installs. I didn't like practice this beforehand. OK, you've installed Pivot Animator. Launch the application on Exit. Finish. And boom, there is Pivot 5.1. Ah, I actually have 5.1.5. This is 5.1.4. Um, sorry about that. But it, they're virtually identical in what they do. Um, and this is going to be amazing. You're going to be so stoked. And I can't wait for you to, to try it and use it. But anyway, there's how you download it. And there's how you install it for Windows 10. Enjoy.